time as Dean, uh, what I am especially grateful for is just this community that we're a part of at HST. I think of the people that make up HST. I'm especially grateful for the legacy that I inherited. When I sit in that chapel, I feel the presence of W.B. West and Annie Mae and Jack Lewis and their presence when I was a student here in the 70s, and the fact that they poured their lives into making this the best graduate training place for ministers and churches of Christ. And I feel like I inherited a great legacy as we started the school. The biggest thing is just the opportunity to serve, but uh, just pulling the faculty together for us to do well what we did in training students. That's why I was here, was for training students. The top of the list would be the students that I was uh, blessed to interact with. I always tried to meet each of the new students as they came in. You know, over 15 years, you're able to see them enter the program, to see the transformation that goes on in their lives, whether they're the MAM Dev or DMIN, and then see the outcome of that. And, that is just a wonderful process to see how God has worked in their lives. When I think about the HST community, I think about people who have a deep faith in God, a genuine love for others, and then there's excellence in everything that they do. So it really is a special team with a shared mission, and it's really been an honor to be a part of it. During the time I was dean, and ever since the time I was dean, I was especially grateful for where I saw our students going because we are committed for training and ministry and can do some things most local churches can't do when we see our students going into urban ministry. Uh, we had students who worked with local churches, students that fanned out almost to the four corners of the earth. And that, that was really gratifying to see the difference it made in the local church. There are things that I know are probably going to be lost, but the one thing that I hope is not lost and is, is not connected to our address, it is our mission. It's who we are and why we exist and what actually brought the faculty here and I think what brings students here. And as we've stated it, our mission is to challenge Christian leaders to deeper faith in God and higher standards of mission and ministry. Well, obviously, making this kind of change will require something in the mode of education. And, of course, even when a school does not move geographically, it has to change over time because our culture changes. We live in a challenging time, and it's no time for our people who sit in the pews to hear sermonettes that are shallow and ill-thought-out and ill-founded. It's a time for people to hear products of careful thought, careful research, deep-rooted in Scripture, and articulated in a way that will give people a Christian worldview and uh, make it practical so that it, it makes a difference in people's lives. I would like for the pride that we all share in what's been done here for the last 66 years to continue, for the camaraderie to continue, for the essence of what is really a very special school here, a unique school. When I got the opportunity to come here, it was my dream job, and 40 years later, it's still my dream job. Well, when the school begins its next chapter in Searcy, my hope is that it will continue to train leaders of the highest quality. There's a story here in 1993 when the mansion was on fire that Dr. Lewis and Annie May were standing out in front of the mansion and it was engulfed in flames. 
And Dr. Lewis said that there goes my life work in that building. And Annie May, uh, who was always the smarter of the two, turned and corrected him and she said, your life's work is in the students, it's not in the building. And so my hope as HST moves to a new building and into a new location is that we can continue to produce the type of leaders that we've been able to produce with God's help for the last 66 years. No broken hearted hope to ever find themselves in place to reason why love is forever. It crossed my heart, it crossed my mind and crossed the room I caught and I this time calling me home. Who knew you'd be the one to let me know? I still remember talking, though I was never wandering on my own. I still remember. Just remember